Chaco Mountain is at first glance an innocuous track in Mario Kart 64. But it is infamous within the speedrunning community, and was the setting for perhaps the most impressive video game speedrun of all time. In the video, below, YouTuber Summoning Salt recounts the history of Chaco Mountain speedrunning, explaining how its initial shortcuts were discovered in the months after the game came out in 1997, and then how the track was torn apart years later when New Heart as Nails shortcuts were discovered. The video gets really juicy when it explains the Weather Tanko, probably the craziest trick in Mario Kart 64's history. The Weather Tanko, discovered by Mario Kart 64 Taser, tool-assisted speedrunner, Weatherton, in February 2014, involves driving around one cart length forward from the start line, then driving into the wall on your left with the aid of a mushroom. Jump with the R button as you hit the wall and you'll boost up the wall. Hitting a specific part of the wall so your character clips into the wall ever so slightly makes the game think you are in a tunnel farther along the track. Once you drop back down, as long as you're behind the finish line, the game thinks you're at the end of the lap, so all you have to do is cross it to complete a lap. This, in theory, enabled sub-six-second laps. The problem was, as a taser, Weatherton used used an emulated version of the game assisted by tools to create a theoretically perfect run. The human pull off a weather tenko? Most thought it impossible because of the difficulty involved. You needed to not get zero framed, as you boosted up the wall, you needed to bounce high enough, hit the exact right part of the wall to clip through and convince the game you were in the tunnel farther down the track, and then bounce far enough to the left to land behind the finish line. Top-tier Mario Kart 64 speedrunner tried and failed to land the Weather Tenko in the months after it was theorized. Then, in August 2014, the 29th-ranked Mario Kart 64 shortcut player, a chap called Abney317, nailed it, scoring a 5.89-second lap and setting a new world record in the process. The Weather Tenko looks like this. Could someone pull off three Weather Tenkos in the same run? The odds of hitting a weather tanko on any given attempt were only about 1 40th. To hit three in a row, the odds were 1 64,000th. In the summer of 2017, Abney decided to devote himself to nailing three weather tankos in a single run, whatever it took, however long it would take. He streamed all of his attempts on Twitch with hundreds watching as the attempt counter climbed higher and higher. On the 29th of October 2017, Abney did it, after an eye-watering 26,461 attempts. The new Chaco Mountain speedrun world record was set at 16.38 seconds, Abney accomplished what was thought to be impossible. Since then, nobody has replicated this feat. Summoning Salt's video is well worth a watch if you're into video game speedrunning of any kind. Do give it a watch.